What we have here is a canoe loaded for bear. Kenny and I are going trapping today and uh, last week's video saw us, we were trapping and we skinned all the muskrats. That was last night for us right there. Some of them, the rest of them were in here. We'll be taking those and depositing those, feeding the cats. And uh, so yeah, we got three buckets of traps. There's 40 traps in each bucket. We got floats, we got popo, we got steaks. Everything is in the canoe and we are ready to rock and roll. So there it is. We are on our way to go spring rat trapping on a lake down here that we've only ever trapped once. So it'll be interesting. There you go, we're on our way. So me and Kenner had a creek that flows out of the lake we're going into and uh, we're along the highway here. We're gonna put a couple floats out because uh, there's a lot of rat sign here. So Let's see if we can get a stake in here. It's all rock here. I don't know, I can't even get it to start. Wow, there's some serious rock here. Look what I'm gonna do. Put some rocks around the stake here. Just basically build it up so that it sits on top of the rocks. So it can't really go anywhere. That's not bad. So we just stick a piece of popple on each side. Aspen, whatever you like to call it. Slap a couple traps on here. These are both, uh, these are all one and a half coil springs. We got a staple here we're gonna attach it to. It's a thing of beauty. There we go, there's one. There, that one's done. And I'll go across the creek. Put one on the other bank too. So usually swim along the edges for the most part. So we got it kind of covered. Anything traveling down tonight or tomorrow or the next night, whenever. I think we'll go down here just a little bit. A little bit calmer water here. Not as many rocks right here either, so I'll see if I can get this one. Both work pretty good this time of year because they're hungry for anything green because they've been under the ice living on not much. And they come out and they really like aspen or popple just as much as beaver do. And uh, it seems like once you catch a rat or two on a float, you get a bunch of rat crap on there, stuff like that, you catch even more, it just brings them right to it. The only thing I ever worry about is coon. The raccoons like to crawl out on these things because they see something out here. And if you catch them, they could pull out pretty easy, but then everything's tied together, so they ain't gonna go far. They'll be, this marsh grass here, they get tangled up pretty fast. Here we go. Easy peasy. Woo! Almost died right there. Well done, back to the truck we go. So Ken is over on the opposite side. And there's his first float, and there's a second one he's putting in. Two left-handed gloves, two right-handed gloves. Though. I got two lefts, so there we go. <laughs> I figured we each had one or the other. I was gonna ask you if you had two rights, because I got two lefts. Hands are gonna be raw. So we are out on the lake of cattails. Nothing but cattails for about, what, 2,000 acres, something oh, like yeah. that? There goes a muskrat over there. Yeah. On the back side of the house. Oh yeah. Nothing but cattails, as far as the eye can see. 
million acres of cattails. Yeah. Floating Kenny, bog. Floating bog can't get can't out. get out of the canoe. It's real fun trapping out so, of. So Kenny's got a set right here. He's got a house right up there. You can see the canoe is full, and we're going that way. We're about a third of the way down setting. I'm going to go back and load up and do it again, just because we're stupid. <laughs> We're going to be out We're going to enjoy gonna, today because tomorrow's going to piss on us. We're going to be out at daylight before we get shit done here. We're good. So we've been setting like maniacs. We got, what do we got left? Three floats. Not One, much. One, two, three floats. Not Some much. big houses back there we've been setting on. There's houses all along here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of swans up ahead over there. And there. I don't know if you guys can see them, but the sky is just all full of stalls and Well, there's thousands. snow geese, there's snow Canadians, geese, regular geese, geese, ducks, swans. There's swans to the left. Everybody. You can go up around this bay and the swans will be getting up. I can I see them. I think this is where we get turned around. I think go, no, go around the corner. Around the corner? Yep. There's a big opening we're going to set. I can hear the swans. There they go. Oh, yeah, there they are. Yeah, there's just birds everywhere. I think the ones in the front, I think them are brants. Yeah, there's a big flock getting up right there. Look at that, look, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, there's just thousands of geese out here. Everywhere you look. And that's just one direction. And back this way, there's thousands more. Pretty cool. Got a set right here to the right. Yep, right here's a good. Oh, it's a turd set right there. That's what I said. Just sit down so I can get in there. <sighs> I'm down. You can do your thing. This is nice because I can hold it steady. Yeah, we'd like to get out and walk around and make sets, but you can't get out because it's, uh, I don't know, what, four feet of water, three feet of water, and then it's 15 feet of... It's all floating bog. Floating bog. It's terrible. Yeah. It's very hard to trap. Yeah. Painful. <laughs> my groin, my hips, Stand everything. for a while. I haven't stood up in about two hours. Oh, my <laughs> God. Ah. Oh, my. Ah. I think we should have a sandwich. Yeah, we could eat. I'm right hungry. Here. Set that turd set. I'm right gonna there. make the set. I need a steak. You can't. You can't Steak's make. Steak's gotta set. go your way. You can't make a set until you play in the turds there. You got any traps left? Not many. We're getting pretty light on steel. Whoa! And this one, oh, it does have wire on it. Okay. Yeah, normally what I like to do is get the trap in place, put the stake and get it as tight as you can, but out here you really can't. No. You kind of just guess where you think you're going to have to put it. Well, these one and a half coils are fairly heavy, so I don't want to go too far with that because you want to be able to see it. Yeah. I should probably throw me a ribbon and I'll put a pile of ribbon on this too. I want to give you a roll because I got to roll extra roll in here. I just got to grab it out of here. It's in here somewhere. Oh. You're gonna get the pretty one. Back, my hips have had just about enough for today. Yeah. If we get out and walk, I won't mind it. Oh, look at this. What? I can lay back. I got a float behind me I forgot about. It must be nice. So we got three floats. Well, we got two left. Okay. We got the one that you got set there, and then I got one behind oh, me. That's the last one. 
Yeah. That's why back is killing me without support. Yeah, and we got five traps. So that's going to leave us three. So we're going to come back with, I think, three extra uh, stakes. A whole bunch of geese just got up over there. Sure are noisy. Yeah, they are noisy. Might as well put it right next to the house. Though. Yeah, put it right here. I'm gonna get the other float ready. I need a stick. Yep. I guess I'll put it on this side. Thing of beauty. All right. I said, I'm going to put some lure and some pop a bite. Yeah. Different than a float, but it ain't a float. Here you go. Just a second. Where the hell's my steak gonna be at out there? So I'm gonna put that steak out here. That's a heavy trap. Yeah, I like those number twos. I guess I won't put any lure by it, I just... You want some of this gland? Ah, that's a good set where it's at. It's just a good location all by itself. Yeah. And it's got bait. Crossing the white pipe, we got yep. one to the right. It's our yep. only trap on this side so yep. far. Remember the white pipe, we got to come across. Yep. For that one. Let's see if we can see anything else here. Just think, there's still almost three weeks of season left. Yeah. Open water. Unbelievable. Ooh, there's a good turf pile up there, but we're not going in there. Oh yeah, I see it up in there, nice. Not too many people get excited about a turd pile. There's a brand new turd pile right there. <laughs> see them couple turds, that's all you need. You know, set that, oh, this is better right here. You can put yeah. a, you can put a trap right here. It's a little crossover, put a piece of poplar. there. Oh yeah, see I what see I'm it. saying? Yep. Yep. I'll just get you in there. Close, I can't really do nothing right here. Try to stabilize is what I can do. Yep, if you hold us right here, it's good. I'm trying. We are back. The canoe is empty except for some stakes and a little bit of water and stuff. I'm gonna show you the beaver set we made. We pulled in. There's a beaver house out here. There's casters all over. We don't need beaver traps, so Kenny took a couple of the bigger traps. We had some number two herders that are still strong. We converted it and ran some wire down. We made two sets over here by this beaver lodge and uh there's some caster up here that he set and we got a bag full of rocks and we had two metal stakes well you can see right here where the beaver are crawling out right here and over here you can see they're cutting down these little ash trees this is their handiwork here they're cutting these down there's a little house right up on this hump over here 
So we got two sets out there. We gotta get some bigger traps maybe. So there's caster mon like right there. And then right here is a whole bunch of caster mon. Right there. Right there, and we got a trap right there. And then it goes out with a wire to a bag. And then uh, over here's the, the little house we found. And we saw it as soon as we pulled in. It's not much of a house, so it's probably one, maybe two beaver at the most. We figure. Right there, we got a set right there in front of that house. You can see the sticks and stuff there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Sun's kind of bright, but we got a set right there too. And we just saw a beaver. Came around the corner, and there's a beaver up where Kenny saw under the water, swam, swam past us. So there you go. Now we're going to go for a little walk to another spot that's not far from here. And uh, we'll check it out and see if we can get any more rat sets in today. Yeah.